Hello everybody, thanks so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thanks so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you like my YouTube background videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit the like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walk-around video, we're going to take a look at this spectacular 2022 Porsche 911 Carrera GTS Cabriolet. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership. Congratulations to the owner on specking such a fantastic Porsche 911. And also thank you so much to the owner for allowing me to do a walk-around video on your brand new Porsche. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the build specifications on this specific car. This specific one has some details that I have never been able to show my YouTube channel before, as this one also has the exterior package in high gloss black, which is new for the GTS trim level. The GTS in general, of course, a new addition for model year 2022, where we now have the Carrera, the Carrera S and the GTS on the Carrera levels. And of course, those are also available in all-wheel drive, Carrera 4, Carrera 4S and Carrera 4 GTS. The specific one, the Cabriolet, so next to the Coupe, we have the Cabriolet GTS, and there's also, of course, the Targa 4 GTS. Let's start here with the front fascia. Being a GTS trim level, it has the Sport Design front fascia standard, with a more aggressive styling, large air intakes, of course, to feed air to the front place radiators. The engine is a twin turbo flat six, three liter displacement for the GTS trim level, pushing out 473 horsepower. If this would be the S model, it would be 443 horsepower. So we have about a 30 horsepower gain from the S model to the GTS. So the Sport Design front fascia, you get the aggressive styling you can see here in the front. As I mentioned in the introduction, this one has the exterior package in high gloss black. So this changes the design here, the front fascia, where now the lower lip here is painted in high gloss black by Porsche. And also these blades here on the side, once again painted by Porsche in high gloss black. If the car would, have been, would not have been ordered in the uh, exterior package in high gloss black, these elements will be standard black. And the same here for the lower lip will be painted in the color chalk. Chalk itself, of course, is the specialty paint available for the 992 generation 911. The 992, of course, the latest generation Porsche 911. In total, now the eighth generation of the iconic Porsche 911 sports car. Being a GTS, we can also see the Turbo S center locking wheels as standard for the GTS trim level. The GTS is the only Carrera model available with these center locking wheels. And again, the name is Turbo S as they come directly from the 911 Turbo S in terms of design. Now, once again, because this car has the exterior package in high gloss black, normally the Turbo S center locking wheels finish in satin black or matte black. But because this car has this package, Porsche also changed the finish of the Turbo S wheels once again to high gloss black. That continues also here to the mirrors. So part of the package is also that the exterior mirrors are now painted fully in high gloss black, both the upper section as the arm coming from the door looking fantastic. And also another detail on the bottom, you can see the side skirts, once again, painted by Porsche in high gloss black. On the GTS, the model designation here on the, on the door as a standard product feature, very specific to the GTS Porsche 911s. Love the way that looks, especially with the font that we carry uh, within the Porsche brand. Getting here to the back, we can see the 21 inch rear wheels. Now 20 inches standard in the front, 21 inches is standard for the back. And these are the largest wheel size that we've ever done on the Carrera models. A beautiful setup, especially with the center locking. Another detail you can see that the owner decided to change the color of the brake calipers, normally finished in red on the GTS, on the cast iron rotors. In this case, once again, uh, finished in high gloss black, looking fantastic. Another mechanical change that Porsche did for the uh, GTS trim level is that the brakes are now a carryover from the 911 Turbo. So we used to use a very similar brake system uh, on the GTS that was a carryover from the S model of the Carrera trim level. But now the GTS with the uh, engine power runs the brakes from the Turbo model. You can definitely see it here by the size of the rotor. Look how large that diameter that front rotor is. Beautiful how Porsche does these engineering updates. Again, of course, it's a cabriolet, the beautiful black finished roof here on the top. Again, getting here to the back. And then let's look at the details also. Again, the um, exterior package in high gloss black also makes these little slats here in the middle, finished in high gloss black. And then this one also has the Porsche exclusive clear tail lights, as we call them. That is a GTS standard, so you can see that the lens of the actual tail light is fully clear. And it also makes the third brake light on the top here, once again, being finished in clear. Also standard for the GTS is the Porsche Sport Exhaust System. You can see the large exhaust tips here on the lower part of the rear bumper. Active flaps, of course, within the exhaust system for the extra sound from the twin turbo flat six. 
Once again, these exhaust steps finished in high gloss black. And of course, we see the standard backup camera and of course the parking sensors also. 25% larger rear wing also versus 991 generation 911. You can see how wide here the uh, rear wing going into the fenders, looking really beautiful. What a beautiful specification against the chalk, the high gloss black package. Also, by the way, the rear bumper is part of the um, sport design package that is standard on the GTS. You can recognize, this, recognize it here by these shark blades here on the sides. This is the sport design rear fascia. Also, this diffuser shape here in the middle section on the lower section is part of that redesign of the rear bumper. This relocates the license plate to a higher setup, of course, because that diffuser being in the middle. And again, these aggressive styling shark fin. And once again, because this car has the exterior package in high gloss black for this GTS, those shark blades are also painted once again by Porsche in high gloss black. Okay, so we covered most of the details on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside of this beautiful specification. Well, we are greeted by a full black leather interior package with chalk stitching. Now chalk is so light that it matches very well also with white tones. Of course, beautiful against the chalk paint also on the outside. Also, the seat belts have been finished in chalk. You can see this car has the beautiful stitching there, all applied on the edges. Continues on the dashboard also with the chalk stitching. Continues also on the door panel here. You see the full, full black leather on the top section, all the beautiful black leather in the middle section. You can also see lightly here the Porsche script. These are the under door uh, puddle light projectors as in a factory option. The beautiful 911 Carrera GTS side sill here as standard. They use this beautiful uh, dark blackish grayish uh, aluminum for the, um, for the GTS trim level. Then this one also has the carbon fiber applied on the dashboard starting here going all the way across. And we see the sport chrono clock on top of the dashboard. We see the GT steering wheel with the sport chrono clock, uh, sorry, the driving mode dial of course on the steering wheel itself. The Bose surround sound speakers also equipped. The seats themselves are the 14-way power sports seats. We also, of course, as a cabriolet, recommend the seat ventilation which this car has and also seat heating. And in this case, the 8-speed dual-clutch PDK transmission. Top speed over 190 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in about 3.5 seconds. Incredible performance level of the GTS, especially now with the upgraded brakes from the 911 Turbo. Thank you so much once again to the owner for allowing me to do a walk-around video on your brand new Porsche. Congratulations, what a fantastic specification. The Chalk 2022 Porsche 911 Carrera GTS Cabriolet with the GTS exterior package finished uh, as an optional extra with the exterior package in high gloss black. Thanks so much for watching. Please contact me directly. My name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. My contact information will once again be in the video description, including my email address and my cell phone number. Keep sharing the Porsche passion and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.